Hello everyone, and I'm David Mullins. Thank you for having me here. I would like to thank your president, Mr. Floyd Green, for inviting me to present to your very important Jamaica 50 event to talk about the diaspora's opinion, especially my own opinion, as the first future leaders representative for the USA on the Jamaica Diaspora Advisory Board about how our generation can contribute to the next 50 years of development in Jamaica. In my opinion, and based on my contacts and the work that I've been doing over the last few years, we believe that there are a number of ways that our generation can contribute. And when I say we, I mean we as in a number of young Jamaicans under the age of 35 who are some you know, very active, some somewhat active, some not that active in the diaspora movement, but still who care a lot about Jamaica. And we think it's important to realize that you have a mixture of Jamaicans, those who were born in Jamaica, raised here, and went away for college and ended up staying, such as myself. We have Jamaicans who left very young and they are in the United States, the UK, Canada, elsewhere. But they do care about their homeland. And finally, we have Jamaicans who were born to Jamaican parents but in a different country. So in the US, the UK, or Canada. But that does not make them any less Jamaican. All of us have opinions, all of us care about Jamaica. And it is important to recognize that we are still one nation. And that is what we need to realize to contribute to the next 50 years. For too long, we have focused on tribes. We talk about tribal politics. We talk about the colors that we wear. And one of the most important things for us is to recognize that the next 50 years has to move forward, not backward, not stay with the status quo. So we must move away from the tribal politics. And I must congratulate G2K for inviting Honorable Virtual Whiteman to actually speak tonight, because that is a step in the right direction. We need to realize that it is not Team JLP or Team PNP, Team G2K, it is simply Team Jamaica. And with this 50th year of the anniversary of our independence, and most importantly, the Olympics coming up, nobody is there cheering for only one group of athletes. They are cheering for athletes representing Jamaica. And that is what is going to be important in contributing to the growth of the country. Our generation is critical because we are the future leaders. We, in fact, will become the next MPs, the next business leaders, the next lawyers, doctors, nurses, policemen, any aspect that you can think of. We will be taking over, whether or not people want to allow us to or not. And we must realize that that comes with responsibility. And so it is important that, yes, we get mentorship from those who are currently in power, those who are past, I won't say past their prime, but they have been in the past, we can still learn from them. So useful exuberance is not something that we should focus on. However, we do have ideas and we want to be heard, but at the same time, we cannot afford to complain that we are not heard. Go out and do something. It's not about talking, action, not a back about. Our generation grew up listening to songs like that. So I implore you as members of my generation to step up to the plate, to say something, do something, take action, inspire others. For those who are not in our generation, those who are older especially, guide us, do not hold us back, provide a pathway and allow us to serve, give us a chance to give ideas. And that is how we will be able to give back to Jamaica. The final thing that is critical for us to understand is that we need to change a brain drain into a brain gain. And let me repeat that. We need to change a brain drain into a brain gain. We can do that in a very simple way. Everybody who has ever left Jamaica does not have to move back to Jamaica. In fact, the country cannot absorb everybody that lives in the diaspora. However, knowledge can be transferred. So I'm speaking to my fellow Jamaicans who live outside of Jamaica and those who have hardly returned. You can share your knowledge. It is not enough to come back to Jamaica once in a while and to be a tourist. It is not enough to come back and merely visit friends and family. It is not enough to do a medical mission once a year to assist individuals in Jamaica. You need to transfer skills you need to transfer knowledge. That is how you will impact Jamaica going forward without having to move back here. There is nothing wrong with coming back for three months and teaching at the university. 
or uh, becoming a mentor for a student at a university or a student that couldn't even get into university and may have dropped out of high school. And that is what we need to focus on. The brain drain has negatively impacted Jamaica in some ways, but it has also created revenue. And let's be honest, the people who have left here have moved on to better jobs. They earn money and send some of that back to Jamaica's remittances. But remittances alone cannot help Jamaica to grow over the next 50 years. We must invest in our people, invest in our economy. And my generation, I'm asking you to realize that do not make the mistakes of the past. If you have done well abroad, you need to give back at home in some way, and it doesn't have to be charity. It can be simply that you take somebody under your wing and inspire them and give them a chance to exceed. If you have gotten opportunities that many Jamaicans don't have, work hard to allow some Jamaicans to get some of the same opportunities. So it is important to realize that our generation is split in two. We have some here in Jamaica, we have some outside of Jamaica. And after the last Future Leaders Conference, the first and last one, it became very clear to me that having about a hundred Jamaicans from, on, from the island, along with another hundred from the US, UK and Canada was critical because we do not interact with each other enough. And it allowed the ones from abroad to understand the hardships that are faced by those on the ground, but the projects that they were already doing. And we need to foster that relationship. We need one Jamaica going forward, not one with just those on the island, one Jamaica across the world. We said Jamaica to the world, well let us make that our mantra for our generation. And I look forward to sharing more ideas with you. And I once again would like to say thank you to your president, Mr. Floyd Green, for inviting me to speak tonight at the event. Thank you very much.